Hey guys, Derek from New Life ESL here again, and I'm back for another edition of our Q&A videos here on the YouTube channel. Like I was saying in previous videos, I'm just going to be doing a whole bunch of these Q&A videos to answer the common questions that I get from teachers when I'm doing initial Skype consultation calls and speaking to uh, all the teachers about coming over to China. These are some of the questions that are asked pretty frequently. And I'm just going to give you a convenient place to get the answers to all those questions so you, know, you can figure out everything that you need to know before coming over to China. So today's question is one I get a lot, and it's how many hours will I teach at my job in China? So this one varies a lot depending upon the school that you uh, will be working for. So we work with both public and private schools all throughout China, uh, all different age groups of students, lots of different choices for our teachers. So we're definitely able to find something that fits your specific needs. So uh, if you want to work like a certain limited number of hours, we can likely meet those needs, you know, as long as it's something within reason. So with that said, uh, the common kind of range for teaching hours would be between like 15 to 25 teaching hours per week. Uh, you know, those are 15 to 25 hours that you're actually actively teaching a class. Now, on top of that, some schools will have you work, pri will have you work office hours as well. Uh, this is more common at private schools. Uh, and what an off office hours are is usually just time between your classes where you're just kind of needed to be there in the office. Uh, maybe you have one class and it ends and then you're, you have like 40 minutes of, of office hour time between that class and the next class. So basically, the office hours, you're getting paid to be there at the school, but you're not really having to teach. So it's pretty cool. A lot of teachers use the office hours for studying Chinese, uh, reading, you know, playing around on their phone or on, on the internet. You know, you can bring in your laptop, bring in your Kindle, iPad, whatever. Uh, you just kind of need to be there. So. Other schools don't have those office hours. So, for example, if you have 20 hours of teaching, 20 teaching hours per week, and you don't have office hours, then you have your 20 hours, and that's it. Uh, and then you know the rest of the time is, is free for you. Now, either way, whether you have office hours or don't have office hours, you're usually not going to work more than 30 to 35 hours per week. So, you're going to have a lot of free time in China, which is great. Now, obviously, one of the best reasons to come and, and teach overseas is to get a chance to travel around, you know, learn more about a new culture, spend your time meeting new people, seeing new places. So, you know, not having to work that many hours will give you a lot more time to explore all that China has to offer, learn the language, meet new people, you know, just have a really good time. Uh, and with that said, a lot of teachers also like to do private tutoring on the side. There's a ton of opportunities to do private tutoring. If you, you know, are looking to work more hours and looking to just make a whole lot of money, um, there's basically no limit to how much money you can make doing private tutoring if you're willing to, you know, put the work in and, and find clients that, uh, you know, want to, to work with you. Uh, there's a lot of teachers that have come through our program and have great jobs with a visa and everything. Uh, they, they do a lot of work on the side as well and earn a lot of extra income. So it's kind of up to you uh, how you want to schedule your, your work-life balance. Either way, you're not going to be working a lot of hours. You're still going to have a great salary and a free apartment, and you're going to be living a really good lifestyle without having to do a lot of work. It's, it's much different than you know, the Western world where people are starting to forget about the 40-hour work week. Nowadays, it's like the 50 to like 70-hour work week. And uh, with modern technology and email, always go in 24 seven. It's almost like work never ends for a lot of people. So the work-life balance teaching in China is going to be extraordinarily better than, than what you're used to in the West. And uh, yeah, I mean, you're gonna have a great time with very little stress teaching in China. So I hope that answers your question about the number of hours that you'll work. Again, it's gonna vary a bit depending upon the job. We'll definitely, when you apply and we start going through the application process and, and finding a school that fits your needs, We'll definitely give you more specific details about the number of hours a uh, week that you'll work, the days that you'll work, all your vacation time, uh, all that kind of stuff. So in short, you don't have to work a lot of hours in China to live a great life, and you'll have a lot of free time to travel. So go ahead and subscribe to the YouTube channel. Again, I'll be doing these Q&A videos very frequently, trying to get one out every day or two here. 
I've uh, got a lot of questions written out that, that people ask frequently, so I'll just be going through that list and answering them one by one and, and putting those videos up for you here. So go ahead and subscribe, share this video. If you know anyone that wants to come out to China, go ahead and contact myself, Monica, or Brendan here at New Life ESL. We've got a lot of open jobs right now, and we're looking to get a lot of great teachers out to start their new lives in China. So thanks again. I'll talk to you guys soon.